Now we give the definition of compass numbers. A compass number is in this form. A plus B I. Where I here I is the imaginary imaginary unit I just introduced before. I is the imaginary unit which whose square equals minus one. And a and B, they are both real numbers. It's very important that A and B are rational, sorry, they are real numbers. And for two complex numbers, they are said to be equal if they are, mm, I will write down. The complex numbers we write as A plus BI and C plus DI. They are Equal if if and only if a equals c and b equals d, and we write it as a plus b i equals c plus d i. So this is the definition of complex numbers. It there is some real number A plus some real number B multiplied a imaginary unit I. So this is a expression of a complex number. So as for the complex numbers, I have to give you a remark. Since for the uh, real numbers, for the real numbers, we have some ordering of the real numbers, which means if A and B, they are real, then we can say A is smaller than B or A, A is larger than B, yes, which is some ordering. Like if I write, draw a, Lamb, which stands for the real uh, for the real numbers. If there is A and there is B, then we can see there is some ordering of the numbers C, D, something like that. But for the complex numbers, in general, there is no natural linear ordering on complex numbers. So in general, they are not comparative.
which means for two imaginary numbers, a plus bi and c plus di. So a plus bi and c plus di. The only thing we can say is they are equal or not equal, but we cannot write like this. This is smaller than this one. This is not true, yes? Smaller or larger for these relationships, they are in Europe, they don't have these relationships. They only have equal or not equal, the concept of this. Okay, so that's one remark I have to give you. Then, uh, let's now let's see the complex numbers. Oh, sorry. Let's see the complex numbers now. And as for this, uh, this complex number, a plus b i, where a and b are both real numbers, we will give some special name of the number A and B, which A is called the real part of the complex number, and B is called the imaginary part of the complex number. So I will write down the definition. So the real part of a complex number A plus B I it's A And its imaginary part is the real number B. And of course, I is called the unit, imaginary units we have introduced before. And in particular, if a is zero, a equals zero, then the number is called a pure imaginary number. Since its real part is zero. So it's just called a pure, a pure imaginary number. And for simplicity, uh, sometimes we just denote the set of all complex numbers by C. C, the capital C, or sometimes this one. They are both capital C. So these are the definition for complex numbers and its imaginary parts and real parts. Okay. So do you have any problems or questions? Is there any questions? Okay.